On the 10th of November 2007, a sea of yellow flooded the streets of Kuala Lumpur and sent a shockwave sweeping across the country. Bursay was undisputedly the most important social movement in the past 10 years. Today on Wikipedia, we take a look at the 10 years of the five Bursay rallies and how it has changed the political trajectory of Malaysia. The first Bursay rally came at an interesting time for Malaysia in 2006. It was two years after Anwar was released. Barisan National's landslide victory in the 2004 general election became the impetus of the movement. The three opposition parties, PKR, DAP and PAS, demanded a free and fair electoral system for the next general election. The loose movement of Bursay was initiated. They demanded for a clean-up of the electoral roll, the use of indelible ink, abolition of postal voting for military and police, and finally free and fair access to the mass media for all parties. On the 10th of November 2007, an estimated 30,000 attendees gathered at the Kuala Lumpur town centre. The rain of tear gas and acid-laced water cannons fired by the FRU did not stop the crowd as they marched towards Istana Negara to deliver a memorandum to His Majesty the Young Dipertuan Agong. Inspired by this, the Hindu Rights Action Force, or better known as the Hindraf Rally, took place just two weeks later in the Kuala Lumpur city centre, gathering an estimated 30,000 attendees. It is generally believed that these two movements brought about the political tsunami in the 2008 general election, where the opposition denied Barisan National their two-thirds majority in the Dewan Rakyat. The movement was rebranded as Bursay 2.0 in 2011 when all three opposition parties withdrew themselves. In 2011, under the leadership of Ambiga Srinivasan, Bursay called for a second rally to take place on the 9th of July, following complaints of fraud and irregularities in the Sarawak state election. It was tense on the eve of the rally as access to metropolitan Kuala Lumpur was cut off and some civilians were rounded up by the police for the possession of yellow t-shirts. However, the clampdown did not stop more than 50,000 people in yellow shirts converging on the streets of Kuala Lumpur. Some 262 tear gas canisters were fired to disperse the crowd. 1,667 individuals were also arrested. It was generally agreed that the Bursay 2 rally fostered unity and cooperation among all ethnic groups, as protesters of different backgrounds helped each other out during the crackdown.